Well, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, one and only AR Legends. And yeah, guys, today I am back with the next part of what if Naruto was neglected by his family and had the powers of cells. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the previous part of this series. If you guys have not seen it, please guys do so. You guys will definitely like it. And yeah, guys, I would like to tell you guys about a new channel of Manhua Recap. So if you guys are interested in that, then that channel is for you guys. The link is in the description below. So please guys subscribe to the channel like it and do comment so yeah guys before starting this video i would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys have not subscribed yet please guys do so it would be really really helpful to me as i want to reach 20k subscribers so please guys subscribe and yeah guys the link of my other channel and the link of my instagram is in the description below so please follow me on instagram and watch the other channel as well so yeah guys let us start the video. Last time we left off as we saw that Naruto was finally entered in the Team 7 as Kakashi was beyond shock with the powers that Naruto has shown. So he decided to report it to Minato but Minato asked him what kind of techniques and jutsus Naruto used but Kakashi told him that it was mainly Taijutsu. But Minato simply shook his head thinking that if it was only Taijutsu then it would not be much harm to him. After all he was a master of you can say space time techniques and there were many shinobis who you can say easily who can easily defeat users of Taijutsu so he simply dismissed Kakashi even though Kushina frowned a little but she also realized that if it was only Taijutsu then she can easily handle it with her Kenjutsu and her you can say chains so Naruto would not be much of a threat to Menma and Mito while on the other hand Minato had told Kakashi about the you can say the team 7 while on the other hand Naruto decided to send Sasuke to the hospital on the very first day of their training exercise while on the other hand Itachi was angry about it after all he still remembered that how his crush was taken by Naruto so he was not exactly happy about it along with Shisui who was still entered in the hospital as Sasuke was sent there as well as Fugaku was disappointed in Sasuke while on the other hand Naruto was you can say sparring with Kiyomi as she was furious that she was unable to touch him so Naruto easily defeated her while on the other hand Menma just then arrived trying to attack Naruto but he, uh, he got slapped by Kiyomi so he went off furious while on the other hand Naruto was sent on on a scenic mission along with team 7 where he had encountered the you can say swordmen of the maze but unfortunately for them they were not exactly a match so Naruto decided to send them packing along with Kisame as Kisame you can say was barely able to escape from there so yeah guys that was the last part of of the series so please guys do check it out so yeah guys let us start from here as the team 7 mission was finally completed as Kakashi who has just gained consciousness decided to look around wanted to see where he was as he quickly realized that this was the house of Tazuna so he simply decided to stand up but he realized that he was low on chakra as you look around to see that all of his team members were present there as he looked towards them and then looked towards Naruto realizing about what he did in the battle as he had frown on his face after all he did not see much of the battle after all he was fighting against Zabuza so that was something while on the other hand Raiga was killed and he didn't know much about what happened to Kisame but he knew that Naruto couldn't have been able to kill him after all that was the S rank Shinobi and his other team members as he looked towards Sasuke and Kiyomi they were you can say relatively okay though he looked towards Sasuke who was thinking something but Kakashi simply shook his head as he looked towards all of them hmm I suppose this mission could be considered complete right as he looked towards Tazuna who has just entered as Tazuna had a smile on his face yeah Gato was killed off by some unknown shinobi as a smirk came to Naruto's face but it went off rather quickly so our country is finally free and our bridge is almost complete as Kakashi simply nodded at that giving a eye smile well team maybe we should get ready to leave for Konoha as soon as possible after all, we have much to do as we look towards Naruto for one last second. 
So all of you are dismissed, Naruto stay behind. As after saying that, Sasuke looked towards Naruto with a strange expression on his face but decided to leave while on the other hand Kiyomi looked towards her sensei and then towards Naruto but decided to leave as well. As Naruto looked towards Kakashi as Kakashi's eyes narrowed. So Naruto can you tell me what actually happened in the battle? What happened to Kisame and Draiga? As Naruto looked towards, you can say Kakashi, well Kakashi. Our since we have taught us teamwork, so we all work together to take down Raiga, though Kisame was not much interested, so he was able to, you can say, disappear. I don't know much about it. As Kakashi looked towards Naruto, as his eye twitched a little, he could clearly see that Naruto was mocking him, telling him that he has not taught the team anything other than, you can say, teamwork. But he decided to simply shrug it off, as he said, alright then. You should write a report and we should give it to Lord Hokage as soon as possible when we arrive to the village as Naruto sipped a smirk at that. And do you know anything what happened to Gato as a devilish smirk came to Naruto's face? No idea sensei as Kakashi could easily see that Naruto smirk and could already tell what could have actually happened to Gato but he simply shook his head. As he would like to have a talk with Minato sensei as soon as possible as Kakashi thought in his mind but decided to dismiss Naruto. So yeah, finally Naruto arrived as he looked down to see in his hand there was a scroll and this was all the wealth of Gato and the documents which he made Gato sign about his property. He had left some you can say money for the villagers this way he can simply dismiss any inquiries of the other hidden villages as well as the inquiries of Kanoha. If they try to, you can say, search for Gato's money, they will realize that villagers have it. So they will not, you can say, fuss much about it. And therefore, he would not be questioned about it. Not the simplest mark at that. All the wealth of Gato was now in his hand as they look into the sky. Now, let us have a small time skip. Finally, Kakashi along with Team 7 has finally arrived to Konoha. In this time, Kakashi had his eyes set on Naruto. But he was not the only one who was looking towards Naruto as Kiyomi was also looking towards him with a small blush on her face while on the other hand Sasuke was brooding and thinking while he was also stealing glances towards Naruto trying to figure out the secret of his strength. He was not a fool even though he was a bit des desperate about the strength aspect after all he wanted to prove himself to his father and to the Uchiha clan but he has to figure out the secret of Naruto's strength as soon as possible after all he has not seen him using any ninjutsu but his strength was truly something else especially his chakra it was sometimes overwhelming while on the other hand Kakashi was thinking what to report to Minato sensei after all he has not seen much and from the things he has asked to Kiyomi and Sasuke, they has only told him that Naruto engaged in only Taijutsu and that strange, you can say, chakra manipulation technique. There was still no, you can say, ninjutsu, even though that chakra manipulation was a bit interesting, but it wasn't, you can say, uncommon. So he didn't think much about it. So he decided to dismiss his team and went straight to Minato's office. While on the other hand, Minato was simply looking towards Menma Mito and you can say, Sai. With a smile on his face, well done, you guys have performed this scene at mission quite well. As men must smirk at that, ha, huh, told ya, we are the best. At this, Minato gave him a smile as he looked towards Kushina who was smiling. So, why don't you go back to home and I will come back to teach you some jutsu. At this, the eyes of Menma and Mito were sparkling as this quickly nodded as Kushina simply brought them just when she was about to leave as suddenly Kakashi arrived. As Minato looked towards him, a bit surprised after all, he was wondering why the whole team was not here for the report. But he figured that Kakashi would have to, you can say, explain himself. As Kakashi looked towards, you can say, Kushina, who had a frown on her face, as she quickly realized that the team of Naruto has finally arrived. But she quickly shook her head, not wanting to think about him. So she quickly decided to leave, while on the other hand, Mina Menma's eyes were, you can say, wide and quickly realizing that. Kiyomi was finally back. He has to talk to his father as soon as possible about that matter as well. Just, you can say, 
Kushina decided to leave while on the other hand Kakashi looked towards Minato yo sensei i'm finally back at this Minato raise an eyebrow at that well Kakashi why is your team not here don't tell me something bad has happened as Minato sat with a frown on his face but Kakashi simply shook his head not actually sensei but i do have a interesting report to give you just when he was about to say something as Jiraiya finally arrived Minato i have something to tell you it's about Gato as you can see Minato looked towards Jiraiya with a raised eyebrow as Kakashi coughed a little about that I already know what you're going to report so Kakashi went on about the whole mission about Zabuza Kisame Raiga when Minato heard it his eyes widened as he looked towards Kakashi Kakashi were you out of your mind why did you go on that mission you should have cancelled it the moment the bridge builder told you about the truth as Kakashi simply shook his head that was my bad sensei i didn't realize that this matter was that bad i thought it would be some random journey in which i could easily handle though we were able to take down you can say kisame raiga and you can say about and zabuza even though there is no news about kisame but according to the information it seemed that he must have gotten some you can say extortion from Gato and went off in his own way you can say simply betraying his teammates as Minato thought it for some time after all it does meet the criteria of the information they have on Kisame while on the other hand Jiraiya had a frown on his face so how did you actually handle it as you can say Kakashi explained that how he was the one who was killed off you can say Zabuza and Haku while on the other hand according to his team they were able to take down Raiga as they looked towards Minato well sensei i believe that Naruto was the one who was killed off Raiga and he has done something to Kisame as well as this Minato frowned a little so do tell me what did you see as you can say Kakashi simply shook his head. It is his chakra, Sensei. It is really something else. He was able to use it to strengthen himself beyond, you can say, anything I have seen other than Tsunade-sama, as well as his strange energy manipulation. He was able to create blast out of it and change shape. At this, Minato frowned a little, and any other ninjutsu. At this, Kakashi simply shook his head. I have never seen Naruto using any kind of other ninjutsu other than his, you can say, suffocating chakra and that manipulation. at this minato shook his head that was still not a threat to him even though sunade has the most monstrous strength he could easily take her down within seconds if he so desire so he was not exactly a threat to him so he simply shrugged it off while on the other hand juraya had a frown on his face after all according to the great elder toad sage naruto is one of the children who could actually bring destruction to the whole world but he decided not to focus on it after all there was still that mass man and he has to find him as soon as possible as well as minato simply decided to dismiss kakashi as kakashi has finally arrived to the training ground 7 where sasuke was punching a lot while on the other hand kiyomi was trying to attack naruto who had a you can say amused look on his face simply dodging and you can say weaving through all the attacks of kiyomi he could already see that something was brewing between those two but he simply shook his head he already knew about the crush of menma on you can say kiyomi he was just hoping that things could actually you can say not get worse between them after all he already knew that naruto was estranged from the family and he didn't he didn't knew much about it but it was said to be some kind of clan secret so he decided not to bother about it after all it was not like naruto was abused or anything like that he was simply you can say estranged so while on the other hand menma was like his little brother though he will not try to you can say meddle in the matter much so he decided to went off towards sasuke hey sasuke come here as sasuke looked towards his sensei here as kakashi threw him a scroll this is a lightning jutsu b rank you should be able to learn it as sasuke smirked at that finally he was getting jutsu which he deserved as he looked towards kiyomi here this is a water technique you have a water affinity and this is for you naruto this is a fire technique as naruto grabbed it and looked towards the scroll amused a little bit 
but decided to, you can say, went on about it. As they decided to practice while on the other hand you can say Kakashi looked towards Naruto who was simply you can say looking towards Kiyomi practicing and giving her some pointers as if he already knew about the technique as Kakashi frowned a little after all he has never seen Naruto using a ninjutsu in his whole life. Just when they were practicing about their ninjutsu suddenly a figure two figures landed you can say near the area as Kakashi quickly realized the chakra signatures but he was still reading his book suddenly a voice was heard hey Kakashi Nisan as Kakashi gave an eye smile towards the direction this was none other than Menma and Mito has finally arrived there as Kakashi gave a look to Naruto who was you can say simply not even looking towards them and simply was you can say talking as if flirting with Kiyomi who had a small blush on her face and then he looked towards Menma who was sneaking glances and somehow getting angrier as he sighed in his mind as he like said yo Menma so what are you doing here I thought you would be with Kushina Sama at this you can say Menma you can say Simply look towards Naruto and Kiyomi a bit angry as Mito spoke out. Well, we had free time, so we decided to come here to talk with you, Sensei. So hope you don't mind as Kakashi simply closed his book. Of course not. As just when he was about to say something, well, Kakashi Nisa, I wanted to see that how far I have grown stronger. So I hope that you do not mind. I sparring with some of the members of your team. Suddenly a wise head. Huh. So you have forgotten about the beatings. I have given you, huh? As Sasuke was the one who has spoken up with a smirk on his face as Menma looked towards him, but then looked towards Kiyomi, who, who was not even looking towards him as he was getting angrier at, the, at that point. As Kakashi quickly realized what he was trying to do, but he simply shook his head. He already knew about the strength of Naruto, who was able to spar with him and take him down as well. So he already knew that even though Menma was strong, he was not that strong. So he simply shook his head. I do not think that that would be appropriate, Menma. Maybe some other time as Menma simply shook his head. Well, it is this time. After saying that, his son chain away as Kakashi sighed in his mind as he closed his book ready to grab Menma. But Menma was already in front of Naruto with a, you can say, punch ready to you can say plant it on Naruto's face but Naruto was who was still talking with Kiyomi who was blushing a little simply you can say moved his hand like a backhanded slap and just like that Menma was slapped on his face as he slammed into a nearby tree hmm. maybe it was some kind of bug as Kiyomi blinked a little she didn't even see anything as Naruto said don't worry about it that was just a bug so why don't we go on that restaurant you were talking about as she was a bit confused but not it nonetheless enough as Menma left of the roar as Kiyomi quickly realized that it was Menma when did he arrive here as she looked towards the direction where Mito was there as Mito was beside Menma Menma are you alright Naruto how dare you to attack Menma at this Naruto looked towards her hmm. well little sister what are you doing there as Mito glared towards Naruto while Kakashi finally arrived. All right, that is enough. Mito, Menma, you do not, you should not be here. Why don't you guys return to your sensei? This is not the place and time for this. I think that this is the perfect time for this Kakashi. As Kakashi looked back as he was a bit surprised when he heard that voice. It was none other than Kushina who has arrived just there. As Kakashi was a bit confused as Kushina quickly realized that Menma was bleeding a little bit from his you can say mouth. But she looked towards Naruto who was looking there looking towards her with an amused expression on his face as she looked towards him coldly. I think that it would be a perfect opportunity for us to see that how far our teams have progressed after all i have just gotten your report and you guys have completed your CNAC mission my team has also completed it so let us call it a friendly match as kakashi frowned a little he wanted to argue about it after all he could tell the strength of naruto and he did not want it Menma to get hurt and he already knew about the paranoia which kushina had about naruto for some reason
So he was wondering why she was doing this. While on the other hand, Kushina flashback. She has got just got a report from Minato, which Kakashi has given him about you can say the mission. As she was a bit surprised when she has heard about Kisame, Raiga, and Zabuza, and she didn't think that Kakashi alone could handle it. Even though she was estranged from Naruto, though she felt a bit bad thinking that what could have happened to him. But when she heard. About these speculations of Kakashi, that how Naruto was the one who has taken down Raiga, and he has done something to Kisame as well. She got a bit scared. After all, she remembered about the great premonition of the Uzumaki clan as a mark on Naruto's back. So therefore, he was a threat. He was becoming too powerful. She was happy that Naruto didn't know much ninjutsu. So if it ever come to that, Menma and Mito should be able to protect themselves with a lot of ninjutsu. She and Minato had thought to them. So she wanted to see how powerful he has gotten and how much of a threat he was to Menma and Mito. So that was the reason she was here. Yes, men must smirk at that as they stood up. You heard, Mom. Kakashi Nissan. So let us see how powerful your team truly is. As he, you can say, simply rub off the blood that was coming from his mouth. As Kakashi sighed, he simply cannot argue with Kushina Sama. So he said, "All right, team. So let us see. So here." Or we are actually gonna do as he was about to say something like sparring or something like that. But Kushina spoke up. All right, so here we are actually gonna do the first match. It will be like a small tournament. If you go and win, then you go on to the next person, and so on and on. The first team which has lost all the members shall be defeated. So let us begin. So. Menma, you will be the first one to go. As he, she looked towards Menma, who smirked at that. He could already tell that his mother was was helping him, so he's gonna win this, and he will obviously go easy on you can say Kiyomi and show her his strength as he smirked at that. While on the other hand, you can say Kakashi sigh as he looked towards his other team members, decided to you can say. Cheater, a little bit. All right, Sasuke, you will be the first one to go. At this, Kushina frowned a little, giving a glare to Kakashi, who was ignoring her now. As Sasuke smirk at that, as Merma glared towards Sasuke. Just when Sasuke was about to say something, hmm, Sasuke, I'll be the one taking this one. At this, at at this, Kakashi frowned a little as Kushina smirked a little, as well as Menma, as Naruto was the first one to spoke up with an amused look on his face. After all, it has been a bit of time that I have taught my little brother a lesson. It is about damn time that I teach him some manners of how to address his elders. As Sasuke frowned a little, after all, he wanted to. Spar with Menma, but as he simply shook his head. He already knew about the strength of Menma. He was a bit stronger than him. He already knew about it. But Naruto was in his, in a league of his own, so it would be much better to be in good graces of him, so that he can learn from him. So he decided to not argue about it. But Kakashi, who was frowning a little, but as he simply shook his head. He there was little he could do about it. As Menma smirked, all right. Naruto, it is about damn time that I shut your mouth. After all, you are a you can say thorn in my side. So let us begin. As Kushina, as well as the other members, simply jump back a little, giving a stage to Menma and Mito. As Menma was smirking, looking towards Naruto, as Mito also whispered something in the ear of Menma, who simply nodded and jumped back. As Mito disappeared and came beside Kushina, as she said, "All right, on my mark." Begin. After saying that, Menma disappeared within within a blur of yellow. At this, Kiyomi gasped a little, thinking that as she said, "Is that flying Rajin?" At this, Kakashi simply shook his head. Not exactly. As Menma appeared behind Naruto, but Naruto simply looked towards him and poked him, poked him on his forehead, and just like that, he poofed away. While on the other hand, the ground simply started to, you can say, shake, and two hands appeared behind Naruto's feet. As Naruto jumped a little bit, and Menma's clone, who was trying to grab him, was simply pulled off and disappeared. And Naruto simply smirked as he threw his hand as a wave of, you can say, air. Was you can say. Made from made as two clones who were trying to attack Naruto simply clashed with a shockwave and disappeared. And just like that.
Black, a clone of Venma, as well as Venma himself appeared with a gigantic Rasengan in his hand. This over now, Naruto. And just like that, he disappeared in a, you can say, speeding blur coming in front of Naruto, who was engaging with two of the shadow clones of Benma, Rasengan, as Benma screamed at the top of his lung as Naruto looked towards the blast. But suddenly, Naruto's hand started to glow, and Naruto's hand was now growing with the yellow aura of his power, not to grab the Rasengan, shocking all the members that were there. So this is the little ball of energy our father is so proud of. Though, I must say, not depressive. After saying that, Naruto started to, you can say, put pressure in the Rasengan as Menma, who was beyond shock at this point, couldn't understand his Rasengan was deforming and Naruto was compressing it with such a force that it was getting, you can say, unstable. As Kushina spoke, Menma, let it go! As Menma quickly realized that the Rasengan was gonna explode, as he quickly, you can say, substituted with a clone. And just like that, the Rasengan exploded, making a shockwave. As Menma, who was now a distance away, was shocked. The whole area where Naruto was standing was blown off. As Naruto, after the dust cleared off, Naruto was standing there, not even a scratch on his body. <laughs> That was just a live show. Well then, little brother. I hope that you have do have some other, you can say, party tricks. Because I'm just getting started. At this man, Mawa, who frowned a little, simply shook his head over it. As he made some hand signs, suddenly his whole body started to glow. As Kushina smirked at that, that was gravity seal she has put on Menma and Mito for the training and Menma was on three times gravity. Suddenly, the whole, you can say, place started to shock a little as Menma's chakra was getting, you can say, widely flowing in his body as Menma's eyes changed into that of the slates of the nine tears and Menma blur within, you can say, with Jonin's, if not, you can say elite Jonin level speed as Kakashi's eyes widened as he frowned a little, looking towards Kushina, who had a proud expression on her face. Suddenly, Menma appeared in front of Naruto as his face slammed into the face of Naruto as a shockwave erupted, while Onderen Sasuke, who was watching the battle, was confused and shocked at the same time. He always thought that Menma was a little better than him, but the speed he was moving right now, he couldn't even see it clearly. Thankfully, he had two Tomo Sharingan, though he was able to see it, but not that clearly. And he would definitely not be able to dodge that kind of attack as he clenched his fist angry about this whole ordeal as Menma was a bit confused. He was sure that he had hit Naruto on the face, so why didn't he was sent flying back? As Mito, who was smirking, also frowned a little. Naruto said, well, little brother, that wasn't exactly bad. That did you can say tickle a little. Well then, I suppose it is my turn, wouldn't you agree? After saying that, a fist was brutally slammed into the gut of Menma, whose eyes, you can say, simply disappeared for a second as he puke out a lot of blood and just like that, he was slammed into three trees and he slammed into a gigantic boulder as he let out a scream of pain but before he could say anything, Naruto appeared in front of him grabbing him by the hair and you can say slam him into the ground and kick him into another tree as Menma quickly regained focus and started to push more of the nine tails chakra. Suddenly, his whole body was engulfed with one tail as Kakashi frowned a little. They were now fighting deep in the forest as he looked towards the other, you can say, Sasuke and Kyomiya, they already knew about the Nine Tails. There was a big deal about how Hiro, Menma and Mito were, so they were not exactly surprised about it, though they could feel the malevolent chakra, but they were, you can say, used to it at this point. After all, the families were a bit of friend. Well, Fukaku and Minato were definitely were not. So, they quickly ran to the place as Kushina was now looking towards him with a cold expression on her face while inside she was frowning. How? How is this even possible? We have trained Menma and Mito with the very best and even though I don't like to say it but Menma is better than Mito. So how? How can Naruto keep up with Menma as she was looking towards the fight? It was like 
a person was you can say simply dancing around a small kitten who was trying to attack him and he was simply toying with it as a menma who has lost any sense of you can say training he has learned over the year was now like a wild animal trying to attack naruto who was now had a amused expression on his face he was simply bullying menma at this point as a kick slam into the gut of menma as menma puke up blood as naruto slapped menma on the face so hard you should show manners towards your older brother is it manners to bark at him as menma once again try to let out a roar huh once again you try to do that as naruto slapped him again and then again then again so you should learn some manners not to bark and once again slap at your slap all the brother slap as menma's face slam into the ground as menma was not panting hard as kakashi frowned a little looking towards kushina who was not look you can say trying to you can say enter into the battle he was confused why was kushina not you can say trying to stop naruto while inside kushina was examining naruto at this point he has used no ninjutsu but his speed and reflexes they were too much they were beyond that of a jonin definitely that of a elite jonin if not even a buff as she frowned a little he was not of the you can say cage level speed she could see that so he was not not at that level right now as menma was trying to stood up enough as he let out a roar and suddenly started to make a rosengan as the rosengan started to get bigger and bigger and bigger odama rosengan as he let out a scream and rushed towards naruto and once again you yell at your older brother huh and here i was trying to teach you manners my bad i suppose we should see which of the attacks is powerful all right then big bang as naruto put both of his hands together as energy started to gather in it as kushina's eyes widened as the amount of chakra naruto was putting in that attack as she frowned a little as she looked towards kakashi and quickly both of them disappeared as kushina appeared in front of naruto with her chains trying to wrap around him and quickly wrapping him around while on the other hand kakashi appeared in front of menma with a seal in his hand and put it on the head of menma as menma quickly got unconscious as kushina who was looking towards naruto with a terrified expression on her face the amount of chakra he had put in that attack she could tell that was around even not above that of a cage level chakra if those two attacks could have met she already knew that menma would have lost badly and that attack had the power to kill menma jinchuriki or not as she glared towards naruto what were you thinking how could you use that attack on him He's your comrade. He's your brother. As Naruto looked towards Kushina with an amused expression on his face, well, dear mother, I was just trying to teach him some manners, which you were apparently were not very successful on. At this, you can say Kushina glared towards him. How could you? How dare? But before she could say anything, well, this is getting a bit uncomfortable. You don't mind. And just like that, Naruto flexed his ski a little, and just like that, Kushina's chains shattered into thousand pieces. As it was like had the time has stopped for Kushina, as she was looking towards the broken parts of her chains. those who are still in the air and have yet to meet the ground she couldn't believe it how how is this even possible she was a cage level shinobi who could even you can say put down qb with her chains and naruto has broken them like it was nothing well given she was not using them in her full power but they were still be able to take down any you can say jinchuriki and he has broken it like it was nothing and she looked towards naruto and the first time she realized how big of a threat he truly was to menma and mito as he looked towards unconscious form of menma she has to talk she has to have a talk with minato as soon as possible she cannot have this much of a big of a threat to menma and mito live on any longer it was a mercy all those years ago she should have killed him the day she realized he had a mark on his body but she wanted to give him a chance but she realized that that was a mistake he was becoming too powerful getting too out of hand she has to have a talk with minato as soon as possible while on the other hand mito has just arrived beside menma 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 
as she looked towards Manma, who was unconscious, and his wounds, his to both of the sides of his face were swollen at this point, and he was bleeding all over. As Kakashi frowned a little and looked towards Naruto, not even a scratch on his body, and he has defeated a Jinchuriki like it was nothing. It was mainly bullying to his point of view. As she looked towards Kushina, well, Kushina-sama, I suppose this training exercise ends here. My student is bit. Tired. So, I suppose we should end this training exercise as Kushina, who was, you can say, had a cold expression on her face, decided not to say anything and looked towards Menma's unconscious form. She could already see the cubist chakra was already healing him. So, there was not, you can say, much to worry about. She quickly grabbed Menma and decided to head to the hospital anyway. So, she disappeared while on the other hand, Sai, who was looking towards all of his thought in his mind, he should report to Lord Donzo as soon as possible while on the other hand, Mito glared towards Naruto. This isn't over, Naruto. You will pay for hurting the ch son of the Hokage. As Naruto gave her a smile as she glared towards him and disappeared in a century. While on the other hand, Kakashi looked towards Naruto with a frown on his face. He didn't know much about the animosity between Naruto and his family. But at this point, he could tell that things will not end well for this whole ordeal. He need to have a talk with Minato-sensei as soon as possible. As Naruto simply smirked at that, as you can say, Kakashi looked towards his team. As I said, alright, you guys are dismissed. While on the other hand, while on the other hand, Sasuke was looking towards all of this with awe in his, you can say, face. The moment Menma let out his chakra and released two seeds on his body, he was three times faster than before. And Sasuke thought that the gap between him and Menma was far wider than before. And he even thought that Naruto would be defeated. But when he saw the fight between Naruto and Menma, it was completely one-sided. How easily he had defeated Na Menma, who was using the power of the QB at that Point. He was shocked at that and he also felt the amount of chakra, the amount of power Naruto was putting in that so-called Big Bang attack was truly something else and he was more than sure that compared to Menma's you can say chakra cloak and that Rasengan of his, Naruto was putting more energy in his attack and that attack could have easily killed Menma who was a Jinchuriki as he gulped a little at that looking towards Naruto not with the eyes of a comp petition no first time in his whole life in his eyes there was fear as naruto simply looked towards kiyomi well kiyomi chan maybe you should give me that little trade you were offering me before as a smirk at that as kiyomi who was you can say shocked at this point looking towards the battle stage where naruto was standing where he was easily beating menma like it was nothing and looked towards Naruto with awe in her eyes. She was not scared, well, a bit, but she was mostly, you can say, amazed with the power he had possessed. She thought that with the ninjutsu, she knew she was stronger than anyone of her own age. But at this point, Naruto didn't even use any ninjutsu and how easily he defeated Menma, who was using ninjutsu over and over again, like A rank and B rank techniques like Shadow Clones and Rosengan and other Sunshine and Speed techniques, how easily he had defeated him as she blushed but nodded nonetheless and grabbed his arm and decided to went off as Sasuke frowned a little but decided not to say anything about it. After all, Yomi had her own life and Naruto was, well, he was Naruto, a monster in his eyes, but a powerful one. As he looked towards the stage where no one was present, Kakashi has also went off, no doubt, towards the Hokage office. As he simply shook his head, looked towards his face and you can say clench his head, no matter what, he will become stronger. And he, neither Naruto or Menma are actually gonna, you can say, Put him down as he thought in his mind and went towards the tree and started to punch it over and over again and started to train while on the other hand Kushina has just arrived to the hospital and a ambo was sent towards Minato and Minato has also just arrived in the hospital looking towards Menma who was you can say recovering as he had a frown on his face what happened as he looked towards you can say Kushina and Kakashi who has just arrived well sensei as Kakashi decided to explain as Kushina was beside Menma and trying and stroking his hair as you can say Kakashi explained the whole situation as Minato frowned a little 
he had sent some of the cubist chakra but it was around one tail so he was sure that they were simply training after all they could easily control three tail worth of cubist chakra and that was just one tail so they were definitely training in his mind so he decided not to investigate while on the other hand when he has heard everything he had a frown on his face as he looked towards kushina kushina what is the meaning of this as kushina looked towards miyato with a you can see serious expression on his face as she looked towards kakashi and decided to look back towards minato minato i want you to do something for men my mito sick as minato looked towards kushina with a strange look on his face as he looked towards kakashi kakashi you're dismissed kushina come with me as he grabbed kushina by the shoulder don't worry he's already healing with cubis chakra and best doctors are here mito you stay here after saying that he disappeared in a yellow flash as kakashi frowned a little there was something that his senses family was hiding from him and from the whole village but he simply shook his head there was little he could do about it his sensei was the hokage and his word was law so he simply disappeared from there while on the other mito looked towards menma with a frown on her face she will protect her brother and they will take down naruto no matter what they will not let him bully them like this while on the other hand kushina has just arrived to the you can say Hokage room as Jiraiya was still there as Jiraiya was in the office as Minato looked towards his sensei and then looked towards Kushina Kushina explain yourself at this Minato was a bit angry after all they have a lot of discussion about Naruto as Minato wanted to use his talent for the good of Konoha he has talent he, and he was not exactly much of a threat to any of them not like he was attacking Menma and Minato or anything like that even in this scenario Naruto was not exactly on the fault as they looked towards Kushina as Kushina looked towards him, Minato we were underestimating Naruto i have examined his you can the scale he is above that of the you can say elite jonin level and so enough in a year or two he will be dead of a cage level shinobi men my nito are not exactly his match alone at this jiraiya who was a bit confused decided to ask what was exactly going on so minato explained the whole situation as jiraiya frowned a little he has trained men my nito for years and it was like a slap to his face that naruto who did not have any kind of training was able to take on men my and was able to defeat him in such a manner not even a scratch on his body as kushina looked towards minato minato we have to do something about naruto i'm telling you he has a mark on his body and he's destined to end the uzumaki clan i do not care about myself but he's a threat to menma and mito as minato glared towards kushina kushina that marks mean nothing that is just a damn birth mark and it is possible for triplets to have it so you shouldn't say something like that and as for naruto even if he has cage level speed and all that he is not exactly a threat to menma and mito they only he only used one tail worth of chakra but menma had three t- tail he could control and soon enough in the future he will be able to control all of it and naruto is not exactly like an enemy of konoha so i have already you can say agreed with you in the other matters because i also agree in that in those matters but i will not let his talent be wasted if he has talent then it will be used for the good of konoha kakashi was already is already keeping an eye on him and i want this matter to be ended as kushina frowned a little minato what don't you understand he was able to break my chakra chains like it was nothing and the amount of chakra he has enough kushina as minato screamed at this point he was getting angrier why couldn't she this woman understand he was a hokage and he simply cannot let this kind of talent to be thrown away that was exactly the reason he has not agreed with the third hokage and the elders to eliminate the uchiha clan because their talent was for konoha and minato is not going to let any talented person talent to be wasted because of the paranoia of others as he looked towards koshina do not worry i have already told you my secret plan naruto has a seal in his body if he ever become a threat to menma mito myself or to the village then i will take actions other than that this matter is over koshina as koshina glared towards minato all right then if you want to end the matter then do one thing for my and menma and mito safety as minato looked towards koshina teach menma and mito the flying raijin as minato and jiraiya were both surprised as jiraiya flung a little kushina there you can say seal 
mastery is not up to that level as kushina simply shook his head not exactly the seal mastery is not exactly required if minato allow them to put their chakra signature in the you can say artificially created seals as Jiraiya looked towards Minato, who had a frown on his face. Yes, it was in his plan to teach men my Mito flying Raijin in the future and teach them how to create their own seal this way. They will be able to create a unique seal, just like Minato. But now Kushina was asking him to create seals for them this way. Even he would have access to it. And there was some possibility that they would be able to teleport to each other's kunai. That was not the essence of the flying Raijin. But the level would be extremely limited to the first while. But if Ron Elita looking towards Kushina, she's not gonna back off. So he simply sigh in his mind. Alright Kushina, I will think think of something as Kushina simply nodded and disappeared. She has to train Menma and Mito and keep an eye on Naruto. She need to have a talk with Kagashi as soon as possible. So she simply disappeared while on the other hand Jiraiya looked towards Minato with a frown on his face. I can understand Kushina's paranoia Minato but Naruto is getting too powerful too quickly as Minato Sai Sensei not you do. He doesn't have any ninjutsu. I have talked to any person. Naruto have interaction over all of his life. He has never used any ninjutsu. So who cares if he is taijutsu and he is you can say unique. Manipulation of chakra is our own, you can say, beyond the comprehensions of others. Even so now they have cage level strength. So do tell me, are you able to defeat her as... Jiraiya frowned a little. After all, he was stronger than Tsunade. Well, not in physical terms. And you can say Taijutsu, but mainly in the Ninjutsu matters. After all, this is the Shinobi world. No matter how powerful you truly are in Taijutsu and in other skills, if you do not have Ninjutsu, then you're not that special. So he simply frowned, but nodded nonetheless. All right, Minato, keep an eye on that brat. After all, there's still a possibility about that of the great elder tolls premonition that he's the child of destruction. At this, you can say Minato nodded at that. Honestly, he didn't care about these matters, about the premonition of the of the Uzumaki clan or the great elder toad sage, but he will do what is good for Konoha, just like always. So he simply nodded at that and dismissed Jiraiya as he simply closed his eyes while far away Naruto was having a good time with Kiyomi and they were simply walking around the village. And some of the Ambos who were, who were simply looking towards him with envy in their eyes. After all, they have seen this brat with multiple, you can say, in multiple scenarios. So, they were a bit uh, envy. After all, this was the princess of the Uchiha clan. So, while on that hand, Naruto looked back and put his hand in the waves of Kiyomi, who blushed a little. As Naruto looked back towards a Ambo specifically, who was glaring daggers towards Naruto. As Naruto had a smirk on his face, this was none other than Visa Itachi Uchiha, who was minding his own business, finally realized the chakra signature of his little sister. So, he wanted to see what she was doing, but when he arrived there, he almost puked out a lot of blood with anger in his eyes when he saw Naruto who was you can say apparently was having a date with his dear little sister and he was angry beyond angry at this point if it was not for his other Ambu members stopping him and if he didn't knew already in his mind the result of the battle he would have attacked Naruto long ago and now the brat was mocking him and he really wanted to kill someone at this point but there was little he could do who and Naruto who was smirking towards Itachi simply smirked and gave a small kiss to Kiyomi on her cheek and simply you can say started to walk away as Itachi was really getting out of hand at this point and his other team members were stopping him at this point physically so yeah guys this is the end of this part so hopefully you guys enjoyed it for the next part the like goal and the comment goal is all that you guys know about it 200 likes 80 comments do that and i shall upload the next part as soon as possible and yeah guys the link of my other channel of manhua recap is in the description below so please follow me subscribe and like comment on the channel so yeah, yeah guys see you soon peace